Hey and welcome back and today is day 28 of the 31 day challenge and today is really exciting because I'm going to show you how to use Claude 3 local. I'm going to show you how to use their workbench online so you can use their second most intelligent version for free, how to generate an API key and then how to use it locally and then finally integrate it with Autogen. We have a few things to do so let's get started. Well the first thing I want to show you really quick is if you go to Claude.ai you can use their second most intelligent model called Claude 3 Sonnet. If you want to use Opus then you have to upgrade to Claude Pro but just use Sonnet, it's free. And if this is your first time here, it'll ask you to sign up, it's free. Just sign in with some email. And then once you sign in, you'll be greeted with this screen. So I'm just gonna ask it to write a snake game in Python. And then it's gonna go ahead and come here and write it for me. Now, the only thing here is it doesn't have the ability to actually execute the code that is generating. So you would have to copy this and then test it locally to see if it actually worked. And then if it didn't, you could come back and, you know, tell it what didn't work and so forth. Kind of like ChatGPT, but this is just Claude. And great, it worked. This is just another way to talk to Claude 3. Now, let's see how we do it locally. So on the top right here, if you click your account, you go to API console, and now you'll see a different screen. And from what I've seen, I've watched a couple of videos and some of the research I've done online. I tried to find a way where we could do this completely free with one of the versions. However, if you want to use the API locally with an agent or just by itself, uh, standalone, they do give you $5 of free credit for each email that you sign up with. And the subscriptions are monthly, or you can prepay like kind of like you do with ChatGPT. So if you click on your account again, and then go to plans and billing, you'll get your $5 of free credit that you can claim here. Okay, now I have $5 of credit remaining. Let's try and test this locally. So the first thing I want to do is go to their docs, which you can find at the top right here. And then they have a quick start guide. So if I come down here to send your first API request, I'm essentially just going to copy this, put it into a Python file, and then we're going to try and run it. All right, so I copy and paste it here. The first thing, well, the only thing you really need to do is pip install Anthropic. And then once that's done, we're ready to go. Now, at the time of this video, the versions of the models might change. So if you want to know exactly which models you can choose from, if you go into the create method here of the client, right here, it has all the models that you can choose from. So I actually want to choose the Sonnet because I know that it's cheaper than the Opus. Okay, now that we have all this set up, let's just run it. Okay, cool. Well, it finished. That was really quick. So it looks like it has a content block object with the text. It says, feeling well, grateful for your inquiry. I am so it talks like Yoda. Okay, cool. So now I know I can get the, because this is an array, I know I can get the first uh, item in the array and then dot text. Okay, so now I tried it again. Except this time I said the system responded if you were a professional engineer and create a simple game of tic-tac-toe for me in Python. Now remember, this doesn't actually execute it. This just gives you the code. But it went ahead and here is all the code that it printed out for me for a tic-tac-toe game. I'm just going to copy and paste it just to see if it works. I mean, to be honest with you, it worked on the first try, right? It, it just worked. I just copied and pasted the code and it was fine. Now let's see how much this cost. So you see here, after I ran just I had two different requests, I'll look at how many tokens I used or how many output tokens there were. But this cost basically a cent. If you go to the logs here, you can see that the one I just did for the game was 843 tokens, and the first one was 60, so almost a thousand. Well, 900. Now I'm going to try it with Opus and see how much that costs. Okay, so now we're going to use Opus, their best model, and and I wanted to create a game of Snake for me. Well, I don't know if you can see this. Let me move out of the way here. There is an error code 529 overloaded error. So as of right now, there that I think this means that their API is overloaded um, and I need to wait until there's not as many people trying to run the Claude 3 Opus API. So to see how much it actually costs, I guess we're going to have to wait. However, let's now run an Autogen example. All right, now let's see how we integrate it with Autogen to work locally. Well, the first thing I do is I just have a couple imports here where I just have the assistant agent and user proxy from Autogen. The only thing we really need to do is set the Anthropic key here. And then I have an LLM config called Claude, where the model, I give the actual uh, Claude model that I want to use. The base URL is essentially localhost 4000. And that's because we're going to be integrating light LLM to run a local server so that can conform to the OpenAI's API, which we need with Autogen. I have the API type and the API key. Again here, again, we're not using OpenAI's API, but you just need to have something here for the key. Cache is set to none. I have a simple assistant agent using the Claude LLM config that we just created. 
I have a user proxy agent. We do need to set a default auto reply for the user. If you don't, that you'll get an error message that Anthropic requires you to have some em or a non empty content message. Similar to when using LM Studio, you need to have some content in there with a auto reply from the user. And then similar to a couple days ago, maybe yesterday, the video where we just have a tell a joke with computers. Okay, we're not quite there yet because this URL, this is kind of what was really needed to make this work is we're gonna be using light LLM. Now I will have requirements here because I, there has been updates. If you used light LLM before, there have been updates and it wasn't working for me until I got the new updates. So they have a new way to run the server and they have a new install package to use for Python. All right, so the last thing you need to do is open up your terminal and type in light LLM space and then for the model, we want to use Claude 3 Sonnet. Okay, and then once you press enter, it's going to run a local server for you using Light LLM's wrapper. And as you can see here, it's running on localhost 4000. That's what we're putting in here for the base URL to get this to run. Now, let's just run it to see if it works. So I'm going to right click on main, hit run, and I'll just do this live with you so that you can see that it's actually working. So we get the user proxy to the assistant, tell me a joke with computers. And now we're just gonna wait on the, oh, well, we already got a response. So it looks like it codes a joke Python file. Uh, it gives you the punchline while the output is, why the computer go to the doctor? Because it had a virus. Wow, amazing. Uh, so you see here, this default all reply, if this wasn't here, it would give us an error message. Uh, the computer joke did not land well. Okay, awesome. So. It works, right? This is how we get it working locally. Now let me see how it does with writing an actual game. Okay, so for my last example, just to show you uh, something else that you need to do so that you under maybe uh, will understand why something didn't work is I had to write a full imp implementation of the snake game in Python. Now the thing is, I think by default, Claude allows 1000 of max tokens. And what issue I ran into was all of a sudden the code just wouldn't be completed. So. In order to fix that in your uh, LLM config that I named Claude, that you need to set the max tokens, I set to 4,096. Now, whenever we used LM Studio, you can set this to negative one, and then there's like basically no limit. Well, you can't do that. Uh, you can't do that here, right? If you say negative one, it just gives you an error saying it requires something greater than like a zero or one. So I put 4,096 here, and then finally, um, you know, if you can see here, I actually have the full code for a snake game. But before, most of this would be cut off. And that was because I couldn't figure out how to get the max token. So just make sure that you set this property with your LLM config if you think you're going to have um, a bigger amount of tokens to use. Now let's see how much this costs. As you can see here, I'm still at $4.84. So this $5 is going to be used a lot, right? I haven't used Opus, their best model, but I'm using their second best and it's costing pennies. So in, that, in the last snake game that I just created, it was 1,808 tokens, which is why I wasn't getting the full response back. Okay, great. So we now know how to use the dashboard in Claude.ai. So you can just try Claude Sonnet for free and just to see how it works or see how it reacts to what you're asking it. And we also were able to use the API just to do a simple test locally and also integrate it with Autogen using Light LLM. Now I know that it's not completely free, but as you've seen that $5 of free credit, I ended up only spending 16 cents. And I honestly, in between, I had executed a lot of things because I was running into issues that I didn't run into like offline with another email. And so I went and fixed those. And in, during that testing, you know, I ran it a good bit and I still have barely used anything. It cost me pennies. Again, that was with the second version or the second best version of Claude, but the first, uh, the first version or the best, most intelligent version is apparently being overloaded by everybody right now. So I couldn't even test it out. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this. If it works for you, try it out. You just have to use Light LLM. I'll have links in the description so that um, you know what you need to do and I'll have the requirements.txt so you don't have to worry about all the installs you need. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.